Aloya. Aloya. So you'll find the Cliff Notes version of that in your program. Welcome to the second day of the World Music Festival at the CalArts 50-ish celebration. I am Alan Etter, a graduate of the African Music and Dance program here at CalArts. What you just witnessed was the pouring of libation, a long-standing and widely practiced tradition among peoples of Africa. Before that was a processional of Afa music. Afa is the deity of divination among the Ewe people of Togo and southeastern Ghana. Traditionally, music and dance performances, whatever the occasion, begin with propitiative drumming to Afa, an act that is designated by the Ewe people as Anig Bakala, which literally means informing the earth. Hey, if invoking the blessings of the ancestors, we pour libation because the ancestors drink first before we do, if invoking the blessings of the ancestors and informing the earth are one and the same thing, then I guess we had better honor our ancestors by honoring the earth. Hmm? There's some food for thought. The world music program at Cal Arts is a different animal. Its value to the Institute and by extension to the world at large is easily underestimated. For example, at any given time, there have never been many world music majors, yet the world music students from Cal Arts have an outsized impact on the musical world. A great many African ensembles and gamelons in this country are led by Cal Arts graduates, and a disproportionate number of Fulbright scholarships have been awarded to Cal Arts master's students in world music. What's more, participants in world music ensembles hail from every school within the Institute. From CalArts' inception, world music has been one of the few forces working to counteract the problem of siloification, from which CalArts has suffered over the course of its first half century. Long before Commons time and other efforts to break down the barriers between artistic disciplines here, world music ensembles offered common ground for artists of different stripes to come together. And as a result, people have traveled to places they wouldn't have otherwise and have come to better appreciate how connected we all are and just how great a gift this program has been to them and to the community at large. Right on. Many alumni from various schools connect back to the Institute through the World Music Program by continuing to come back to Cal Arts, both as audience and performers. At Stephen Levine's inauguration as president of Cal Arts some 35 years ago, 
the World Music Program was front and center, as it is at all major community-wide events here at CalArts. If you have ever attended a CalArts graduation, you were welcomed by music from our Indonesian gamelans and have experienced the procession of graduates led by the very African ensemble you have come to delight in tonight. Although Stephen was new to CalArts at the time, he had already seen enough of the world music program to declare that it should be the model to be emulated by all other teacher-student relationships at CalArts. I remember him saying that, I was there. Concerning the African music and dance program in particular, someone recently asked me if it carries on from what it was back in the day when I was a student here. That's back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Uh, I go dio. <laughs> the answer is, of course, a resounding yes. Andrew Grushaw and Yeko Ladzek Bokol have carried on the great tradition of teaching genuine tradition performing arts of Ghana, following in the footsteps of their forebearers, all of whom are Yeko's relatives. But as another alumni of the program put it, they have not only kept the program going, but they have made it flourish. The sense of camaraderie, of being part of something greater than oneself, and of the sum being greater than the total of the individual component parts, and the profound lesson of what it really means to be part of a group is still here. The incredibly compelling music and movement is still here, true to its roots, same as it ever was. Didn't David Byrne say that? Same as it ever was. We will consider more about Andrew and Yeko later, but for now, we will begin our program with the first piece called Adzogbo or Adzohu, which is a cult dance associated with one of the war gods of Benin. Traditionally, it is only men that dance the main section. After the spiritual preparation of the young men, they then dance this prior to their departure to the battlefield. Women are now able to embrace the male portion of this dance for social entertainment. We give you Adzogbo, Adzo, uh, Adzohu, which will be directly followed by something brand new to ensemble African drumming at CalArts, Fontaine From. Thank you.
Ponce de Sule, I want to say what I said last time he performed here, which is, in my mind, the difference between excellence and greatness is humility, and that describes Sule Imoro. Anyway, he was a frequent guest of the African program, and he personally made this set of Fantôme from drums and gifted them to Cal Arts. And given his uh, economic standing, that would be like uh, Elon Musk gifting a planet to somebody, okay? Because, I mean, it's a big effing deal. 
Uh, in fact, the brass reinforcements of the pegs that tension the drum heads on the larger drums are material from Sule's mother's house. Gotta love that personal touch and talk about having skin in the game. Enjoy Fonton From.
Jason, not Kevin. And uh, that was planned to be just an instrumental piece, but someone spontaneously got up on stage and started dancing. That young lady is none other than Beatrice Jizoba Laluvi, mother of us all and teacher at CalArts for many, many years. Give it up for Jizogba. The Atumpan was saying, the path crosses the river, the river crosses the path. The, ba the Boma was saying, which is the elder? And then together they said, we made the path to find the river. Our next piece, Dambai Tokai, is danced as a suite with drummers changing through several rhythms. This is usually danced by men every evening for one week preceding the final day of large funerals. It must be large if it lasts a week. In addition to the ornate boots worn, this dance is, is graced and accentuated by the carefully handwoven smocks that flare out with stylistic movements of the dancers. Enjoy Damba Takai.
Our finale tonight, as it so often is, is the Eve masterpiece closely associated with the Ladzekpo clan called Achagbekor, traditionally a war dance. We are very fortunate to be led by a couple of cultural warriors. If you happen by the African room, B200, AKA the Ghanaian Embassy, Valencia branch, you will hear in Andrew's playing the same deeply sonorous sound and the makes you want to move sense of time reminiscent of Alfred Togbi Asafokla Ladzekpo. Alfred! And one to continues to marvel at how Yeko can be such a phenomenal performer and yet manage to not upstage her many talented students. It is a magic trick that few of her caliper as dancers can pull off. Our beloved Dean, Volker Strebel, is a person between two cultures, Germany and the US. He knows firsthand the challenges involved in toggling between two cultures. Andrew and Yeko face an even greater challenge as world-class practitioners and teachers with one foot in each of the cultures they are bridging. And I can tell you firsthand that Ghana is a lot more different from the US than Germany is. One of, our doctoral, one of our doctorate of musical arts students has raved about Andrew being a teacher's teacher, a master pedagogue among pedagogues. So deep is his thinking and understanding about how we learn, particularly about music. Unlike Andrew, Yeko may not teach a class in pedagogy, but don't let that fool you. She is similarly masterful in that respect. Under Yeko and Andrew's guidance and leadership, the African ensemble has not only fully rebounded from the ravages of the pandemic, but they have moved beyond where it was three years ago. <laughs> Didn't somebody say, you can beat me, you can whip me, but you can't break me? That's African music at CalArts. One example of this furthering of the cause is the Fontam From drumming that we were treated to earlier this evening at CalArts debut. I am hardly alone in my praise and gratitude for all that Andrew and Yeko have done and continue to do. Alumni that are performing tonight approach me to make sure that our dynamic duo gets its props, that our respect and appreciation is conveyed, and that the rest of the world is made aware of the very rare and precious tradition in African music and dance that persists and thrives here at our beloved School on a Hill. Now to the final piece. Achagbekor is a contemporary version of the Eve traditional war dance Atamga, which means the great oath. This is in reference to the oaths taken by the ancestral Eve speaking people before going off to battle. War is no longer associated with Agbeko, but the movements of the present dance are stylized forms of movements reminiscent of the battlefield. There are two portions to this dance. The movements of both the initial slow portion and the later fast portion are taken from battlefield maneuvers such as planning the attack, advancing, and retreating. In celebration of CalArts' 50th anniversary, this special performance of Achagbekor will be danced by returning alumni spanning the past five decades. They're all here. Every decade is represented. CalArts is many things to many people. Chief among those things is community. As it says in our mission statement, CalArts is a community of multidisciplinary artists. Through artistic practice, we transform ourselves, each other, and the world. Prepare to be transformed by Agbeko.
She is 79 years young, y'all.
Jack Bellow. Ana Musa Hoyo. Kiria. Yeah. Nata Tuchi Jack Bellow. Ana Musa Hoyo.
I'll go first. All right, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Give it up one more time for the CalArts African Ensemble. Everyone, um, we want to thank you so much um, for, for bringing the energy for us, this music. There really is no audience. We're all participants, so thank you for sending the love our way. Um, want to just give a couple of um, big, very important thank yous. Um, first, one more time, please give it up big time for our crew, um, Bob, John Baffa, and I have all of their help. It is long, long, hard days, um, and... Um, they're, they're just the best people. We thank you. We thank you big time. Everyone, our MC, Alan Edder, please give it up for Alan. <laughs> it always means so much to have Alan speak. He's very, very deeply connected to this program. And if you paid close attention to the video that we showed at intermission, if not, scan the QR code. Alan's got his cameo appearance in there, um, rocking some dancing for us. Um, that's right. Um, he was always Uncle Alan since the moment I could walk. <laughs> <laughs> um, then um, want to um, also just acknowledge um, School of Music, our leadership there, Volker, um, Roxanne, Michelle, everyone in the office, everybody who keeps us rolling. That's a big one. Um, a really, really big thank you, everyone. Um, the, um, everybody was asking myself, Nyako, are you exhausted? And it, we were like, Yes, but this is the fun part. It's the 10,000 emails that led up to today that's not as much fun. And if we did not have Rosa, um, our producer, we would have just been absolutely dead in the water. Where is she? Where, I don't even know where she... Um, but we thank you so much, Rosa. She was absolutely amazing. Um, I know I'm forgetting people, but there are a couple more that I really know. Um, really, really big thank you um, to... Well, Yeko's mom, Beatrice Lezekro, and to Kaufway as well. Big, big ups. Um, everyone, like I said last, uh, last year or two years ago, we are standing on the shoulders of giants here. That's why these videos in the middle are so important for us. I also have to give a very, very big thank you to Yeko's father, my father in this music, the person who started this festival, and really the reason that I'm standing here, actually the reason that we're all standing here, Kobla Lezekro, please give him a big, big hand for me. And, um, and then I have just one more, and then I'm going to pass it over to Yeko, um, the woman who keeps me upright at the school, my partner in crime, who just can never take on enough. This year, Dance with the Gamelon um, is making food for everyone next week, is always finding the next way to make it great for us. Um, I couldn't imagine doing with it, it, it without her, and... It's just, it, it brings joy to me at CalArts. So everybody give it up for Yeko, please. Okay. So as it is the 50th anniversary celebration, and for those who know, if you know, you know, after every African ensemble performance at the World Music Festival, we would always do, how many alumni do I have here? What is it? What is it? Let me hear you. Audience participation, because we can't expect you to hear and feel all that good music and just go home with it. So now it is your turn. Be careful, please. Walk through the spaces of these lights carefully, and we invite you to come and move with us for our very last moments tonight. Thank you. Aloya, Aloya, Toto to kureke, po maya danu. Toto to kureke, po maya danu be. Da 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 kureke, po maya danu be. A da kureke o. Hello for no one, po maya danu be. Toto to kureke, po maya danu be. Toto to kureke, po maya danu be.
とっとっとくれけそまやだぬけとっとっとくれけそまやだぬけさざざくれけそまやだぬけあざくれけおとっとっとくれけそまやだぬけとっとっとくれけそまやだぬけさざざくれけそまやだぬけあざくれけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけさざざくれけそまやだぬけあざくれけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけさざざくれけそまやだぬけあざくれけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけそっとそくれけそまやだぬけさざざくれけ